51, gun levels. So in this episode, we're going to be adding levels to our gun um, so that we can have our second level and our third level, because right now we're just doing the first level. And the first level just has these two sprites for its projectiles, and it does one point of damage, and that's all fixed, and like how far it goes is fixed. But actually, all those things change. So let me just list off what changes. We change our projectile sprites. So instead of using these one bars, we use either these two bars, or this, like, which is really four bars with some extra blah thrown in. Um, and then our projectiles get wider, so our collision rectangles get bigger for our projectiles. And then our damage increases, so instead of one damage, it's going to be either two or four points of damage. And then how far a projectile can travel changes, so it, like, it increases as the level goes up. So... Those are just a few of the things we're going to be doing in this episode. Um, mainly, I just want to point out that, well, we, there are three levels total for all guns. So I'm going to make this K-Max gun levels in the units class. And then we'll use like arrays for constants and variables that change based on the level. So, for example, um, right now we're using K-Projectile Width to get the projectile width for our collision rectangle. But instead, we'll be using K-Projectile Widths, plural, and then it'll be an array with um, three different values for um, the different widths of these projectiles um, for each level. And then we also have some member variables that need to change too. So right now we have the sprite horizontal projectile, which needs to change into three sprites, hor horizontal projectiles, plural. And then we'll fill those in as well. Um, so yeah, let's get started on that. So let's jump into our units class first and add that in, that k, that constant. Units.h. And then here, gun experience and gun level. So let's add in a const um, gun level, k max gun level, and that's going to be equal to 3. And that way we can use that when we are creating our array. So let's go into our polar star dot h and dot cc and work out those. So let's start up here. Um, let's start with the first thing I said was going to change and just do these one at a time and that's the projectile sprites. So I'll go into our sprites and so our sprites are going to change. Um, our constants are going to, we're going to need more constants. So I'm going to call this k projectile source wise with k max gun level. And this is going to change to be 2. And then for the second one, it is at row 2. And then for the third one, it's at row 3. So 2, 2, 3. And then our source x's is going to change to, to be, I'll just copy and paste this a little bit. And this is going to be at row 8, or column 8, I mean, and then column 10, and then column 8 again. So 8, 10, 8. I'm actually not going to use this K vertical projectile source X anymore because this is really just going to be K horizontal projectile source X plus 1 because this 9 was just one tile past. See, this vertical is always one tile past this horizontal, so we're just going to do plus one there. So we'll get rid of that. Um, so yeah, and then we'll need to go into polarstar.h and change our horizontal projectile to horizontal projectiles, plural, and vertical projectiles, plural, and then make it an array. So we'll do this units of k max gun level. And then we'll need to initialize these. So down here, um, oh, we'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> but when we're initializing our sprite, instead of initializing just these two, let's make a loop so that we catch all of them. So we'll just do for gun level, nope, not gun experience, gun level, gun level equals zero, gun level is less than k max units. K max gun level plus plus gun level. 
so we can just get all of them at once. Um, this will be horizontal projectiles sub gun level. Same thing here. Um, and then we'll change our K horizontal projectile source X to X's sub gun level. Our Y will be instead of that, it'll be X's sub gun level. Or sorry, it, it'll still be Y but it'll just be Y sub gun level. Um, our vertical is gonna change, however, and it's going to be this value in here, this K horizontal projectiles, plus one, because again, it's offset by one to the right. And then our Y's will be same as this. So now we need to use the correct projectiles in here and there's two ways we could do this. We could surround this whole thing and then do the current level or level one or whatever. Um, but I don't like to use ternaries that way because it gets kind of confusing, so I'm not going to do it that way. It'll be kind of boilerplate-y, but whatever. I'm not too concerned. So I'm just going to move these down to separate lines. And let's actually make a current level variable for our polar star so we can keep track of what, what our current gun level is. So let's do this in units of gun level, current level. And let's start at level one. So let's remember to go up here to polar star constructor and initialize this to level one. So current level one. And then down here, we're going to want to do um, the current level, but not, we don't want the first index, or we want the first index, which is index zero. So we want to do current level minus one for this. And these are plural too. So like that, I have that. And it'll be the same thing down here too, so I'll just copy and paste that. And let's see if this builds, and I think it should. It's taking a while to build because we changed the units file. Oh. It's okay. It's convenient because we don't make changes to units very often, but then when we make a change, it takes forever. So yeah, we're still getting this same sprite. So let's um, change the level real quick and this won't take long to compile. So I'll just try level three. Why not? We'll make sure to test everything thoroughly. And let's see, this should use the right sprite. And it does, and I'm happy with that. Still doing one damage, still not going far enough, but that's what's coming up next. What's next? So projectiles get wider. This means we need to set our K projectile width and change this to widths. And its widths are gonna double every time. So it starts out at 4, then it becomes 8, then it becomes 16. So now let's figure out K projectile widths. And I think this will be interesting because it's inside of our projectile. So now our projectile needs to know what our current level is. So let's pass that down to our projectile too. And store it down here. So this will just be a const units of gun level. Um, I'll just say gun level, or current level. Well, the, the level doesn't change, so I'll just say gun level. Counts units of game, and then we'll take that in up here. Gun level, gun level. And then we'll need to pass it in to our projectile when we create it. And also add it in here. So let's do units of gun level. This is the projectile um, constructor. And then we'll initialize gun level with gun level. And then we also need to, when we create our projectiles, 
up here we need to pass in the current level so current level and then now we have enough information to actually use the gun or the projectile widths so sub gun level minus one sub gun level minus one and that should do it for that this will be kind of hard to test I'll just kind of get close to the bat and see if it's I don't know we'll just make sure things are working <laughs> I can't really it, it's hard to see if it's like right within the six or eight pixel unit things but yeah I'd say that's working I don't think it would have hit if we were using a smaller one that's good enough for me for now because um, there's more to do and then we can test it as we're we can test each level one at a time so damage increases that's the next thing we need to worry about so right now I don't think we're I think we just have it hard-coded into our header file yeah Rick we're doing our const return one for our contact damage so let's change this and implement contact damage in our CC file instead and this is right below our collision rectangle so we'll just add it in down here. Units. Why didn't it copy? B F. Dang it. Ugh. Sorry. Okay. I was trying to copy and paste this, but it was being a pain. I'll do it the manual way. Okay, so now we're going to return our K damages. Sub gun level minus one and let's go create gate damages um, <clears throat> K damages projectile so how about down here const units of HP K damages let's call it K project now nah, K damages is fine it's gonna be one two or four depending on the level and this needs to be an array so units K max build and run and we should see an error a syntax error because we forgot a semicolon so building and running we should see minus four damage and we do that looks good sweet okay one more thing we need to do and that is to change how far a projectile can travel um, so this is K max offsets or whatever, I think K projectile max offsets. Yeah, right here. So we'll change this again to a, change it to an array. Um, and the first one is going to say the same. The second one is tile to game, five tile units. And then the third one is seven tile units. So let's find our K projectile max offset and change this to use the current level, gun level minus one. And we'll see it shoot way further, which is awesome. So bring it over, should be about seven tiles, boom, look at that. So let's see. So if you're right up close to the bat, that looks right. I'm going to test all the gun levels now just to make sure they're all working. And we'll try level two now. This is the one we haven't tried yet at all. Shoot. Yeah, we see two bullets. It's about five tile units. Let's see. We should need to get a little bit closer to our bat. And I think that was a little closer. And let's try level one. Mm. 
we just put in a lot of constants, so it's really good to check it like right after you do it. That's the best time to check it because that's when you've made the least number of changes. I want to run that one again. I was talking, so I wasn't thinking. Yeah, so this is where uh, this is where we were standing when the th the s level three bullet hit him and collided. This is about where we were for the level two, and that's what we need for level one. So I'm happy with that, and I'm co I'm convinced that it's working right. Um, so yeah, there's one bonus I want to do, um, and that is to draw our gun experience HUD. And we were drawing it before because we were working on it before, but then we got rid of it. So this gets stored in the player class, and then our polar star is the one that actually draws it. So let's get started on that. So the reason I want to store it in the player class, I should say, um, is because we have, we do draw the experience HUD when, even when, um, even when the, we don't have a gun. And it gets, it gets drawn a little bit differently, but it's just easier to have also one HUD that's shared between all the guns. Um, because we don't have to create and destroy different HUDs all the time. So we'll just add it to our player class and pass it into our draw HUD method for our polar star, which we'll have to create. So let's create it right above here. Gun experience HUD. Gun experience HUD. And we'll need to initialize it in player CC because it takes in a graphics. So it's down here above our polar star. We'll initialize our gun experience HUD with a graphics parameter. And then we'll go into our draw HUD method. And then we'll call polar star draw, draw HUD, giving it graphics and our gun experience HUD. So let's go into polarstar.h and add those in. So void draw HUD. We don't need to give it positions or anything because it knows where to draw it. So graphics, graphics, and let's forward declare gun experience HUD, QRSTU experience HUD. Um, gun experience HUD. We'll just call it HUD because it's a parameter. Nothing too fancy, and then we'll go to polarstar.cc and implement this. So let's copy and paste that. So let's draw our HUD. Our HUD dot. Uh, we need to include gun experience. So this would be pound include gun experience head. <clears throat> then we can draw it. Head dot draw, giving it graphics, our gun level, which is current level, our current experience, which we haven't we haven't implemented experience yet, but I'm just gonna do zero and ten for fun. Or how about two and ten? for fun. And then we can see it drawing with the correct level. So building and running and building and running. So there's our gun experience head. HUD. We're at level one. Let's try level three for fun and completion sake. Yes, 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 yes. Sweet. It looks great. We now have multiple levels for our gun. I'm very excited about this because I think you guys can guess what is coming up very soon. And I'm very excited about what's coming up because it's going to be very fun and it's not going to involve a runtime exception. And this happens because we, don't, we haven't worked out um, what happens when a projectile or a collidable ob object goes off of the map. So it's not a big deal because later we're going to be doing different stuff like, you know, surrounding the whole stuff in map. There's one level that isn't surrounded, but it's got some 
interesting things about it. But anyway, um, nothing to worry about there. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy developing.